don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's that time of the month again when it's time to do a Artsy Trio collaboration with my friends B and Gina. So B is in Switzerland and Gina is over in the US. Um, so this month it's Gina's turn to do the mood board. I think it's mood board number nine. So we've now been doing this for nine months. The year is going so quickly. Can't believe we're already in May. Um, so next week will be the third anniversary of moving into the house. I know it's been three years. Time flies. Tempus fug it, as they say. Anyway, so let me turn over my other camera. I'll show you the mood board that Jean has created this month, and then I will do my project based on her mood board. So this is Gina's mood board for June. So we've got some flowers up in the top right uh, left hand corner. We've got like a cloudy, a bank of clouds up in the sky. We've got an abstracty kind of drippy um, kind of painting there. Some watercolory drips there. We've got a tea bag. Um, I don't know what they call those. The, the tag from a tea bag um, with a little bit of a, a quote on it. We've got a beach scene, we've got a poppy head, and we've got some children's um, chalked writing on the floor with a rainbow and the be kind. Um, so I've been looking at this for a little while now, um, and I have to admit, I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm a bit stumped. Um, there's, there's nothing really that jumps out immediately as a cohesive idea for an art journal page on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two kind of watercolory, drippy um, kind of pieces of art if you like um, as going to be the basis. So I'm going to do some drippy kind of abstracty kind of art on this one I think. So and again we've got blues, pinks and greens. So Right, let's move that move on to one side. So this is my, let me zoom out a bit. Do, 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 do. There we go, not too far because you don't want to see my lap. There we go, I think that's just about right. So just bring that back in again just to make sure that we are focused. Yes, we are, which is good. Okay, so first thing to do then is to get some gesso down on the page. So I'm going to use some white gesso. Ooh, that's the first time that's happened. I've got a, a bit of a film across the top. I obviously haven't um, closed the lid properly last time I used it. Ew. Go straight into the bin. <laughs> that's dirty. <laughs> Right, where was I? <laughs> okay, so let's grab some white gesso, which obviously you're not going to really be able to see on the page because I'm putting white on white, but it does help when you're adding colour to a page and you want it to move, although gesso creates a kind of um, key or a tooth for the paint to grab onto um, and it prevents your paint um, from immediately soaking into the paper so it gives you time to be able to maneuver them on the surface because the gesso creates a kind of barrier um, stopping the paint from soaking in too quickly so it's a kind of two-pronged attack We've got some schmutz up there, which I want rid of. There we go. And we'll just gesso over the top. Yeah, so it's kind of a two-pronged attack. It's, it's a kind of sealer for the page to stop the paint from getting soaked in too quickly. Um, but it also will help hold the paint, if you know what I mean. Gives the paint something to grab onto. Okay, so let's make sure I do fasten that down. 
really, really tightly. There we go. So, just to get that dried off. Okay, so I've just brought the mood board back in again. So I'm just going through my paint collection, um, just seeing what kind of colours I may need. So a couple of blues. Maybe that's a bit too dark. Maybe we need a bit of a tone. No, no. I think that blue is probably the nearest blue that there is. The sky there, that bit there, that bit there, that bit there, and that bit there. So I think we'll stick with that one. And then green wise, um, green there, green there, kind of pulling those colours together. So those kind of three colours, I think. Okay, so I'm going to just give the blue bit of a shake up first of all just to make sure that the binder um, is working and my page is curling so I'm going to need some clips now what do I do with all my clips I'm actually drowning under my own mess here at the moment there we go so let's just hold on to those at the bottom there I don't think I've had a curly page for quite some time so let's get a small one there we go. Right, that's going to hold those pages down a little bit. Right, so let's bring that blue. I also want some texture paste. Okay, I've got some True Grit texture paste here from Indigo Blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit on my, if you hear the grit that's in there. And I'm going to grab some of that Indian turquoise, that's the colour, Indian turquoise. Like a Navajo bracelet, okay. And I'm just going to mix some of that texture paste in with the paint and I'm going to scoot it across the page but as with most days when you're not really sure what it is that you want to create um, just do something even if you're not sure where you're heading just do something even if it's just slapping colour down onto a page um, any kind of activity is better than being frightened of your blank page. And there are numerous, numerous, possibly too numerous to count, um, videos on YouTube on how to break a blank page. For me, I just like to slap colour down. And this has got because there's some texture to it, which is cool, which is even better. I'm going to try and scrape up as much of that as possible. Okay, so I've got my wet wipe, a wet wipe, and just quickly remove some of that and clean that up because what I want to do now while this is still wet is I'm going to bring in some of that green so the green that I've got here is festive green so I think it's too early for the C word so let me just grab 
the paint on my palette again and I'm just going to drag the green paint through and just let it blend and kind of let it sit on the surface of fact but I'm, no, I'm not going to I was going to maybe just drop some on the page itself but I want a little bit more modicum of control than that. So this really may turn into an exercise in mark making. Who can say? Let's grab a bit more. Bring that green further down towards the bottom. As I scrape it, and you see the blue showing through, even though it's still a little bit wet. So now I'm going to just kind of shuffle and create some downward poles with the green. Now you see, just by doing that, <laughs> kind of just give myself a direction to go in. <laughs> I now know where I'm going. Okay, so let's clean off that palette, little spatula. Bearing in mind all this is still wet. and I can feel the texture as I'm going on the page. So let's give that a shake. So this is the pink. So there we go. And again, I'm going to come back in with that texture paste. If I can remember what I did with it, there it is. And I'm going to mix, I'm going to put a fair amount, I don't mind a little bit if there's still a little bit of that green on the mat. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just create some texture kind of circly blobs I don't really care if the paint does actually mix a little bit. This is a real kind of messy kind of play. A little one there. I'm 
だからねグラピンクペインズ。ちょっと少しずつ入れて、少しずつコンセントレーティング。おっと。OK、そう、私は、別のコラーピンク。はい。私は、ダーカーのものです。これは、ロイヤルフューシャ。Oh dear God! <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> eh? Talking about getting messy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got the point of a paintbrush, which I've just dipped in. Now I'm just going to add in I'm not even going to paint it I'm just going to like, kind of like drop it in and create a little bit of mark I did say it probably turned into an exercise in mark making. I'm thinking. Because these kind of abstract y kind of floral forms, because they're not really they're not realistic in any way, shape or form. I'm just trying to break that up a little bit. Um You can get away with murder, literally. Let's put a little bit of a little bit of something something on the bottom here. And I've not even used the proper end of a paintbrush. Not once. Still using scraped up paint. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so let's get all this lot cleaned up, tidied up, wiped down, swilled down, and I'll be back with you. In a second or two. Look, I'm forever getting paint in my fingers. Okay, back in a sec. 
so who needs impasto paints, eh? <laughs> a little bit of texture paste goes a long way. Look at the texture in those. Even up here in what is now the sky. Got some kind of serial, serialized, some kind of stylized cloudy effects going on in that background. But I mean, look at the depth and the texture that you've got just by mixing a little bit of that texture paste in. So yeah, you don't need to fork out on expensive um, impasto paints to get that thickness effect. And, you know, impasto acrylics, difficult. Difficult one, right. Obviously, I'm gonna put splatters. Obviously. Because, you know, splatters. <laughs> it has to be done, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, the other thing is, of course, I don't know whether this is fully dried properly yet. So. There we go. Because, we, even though it's raised, even though there's deep texture in there, um, I don't know whether it's still wet underneath or whether it's just the surface. So I'm not going to take the chance. So I don't want to touch it just yet. Just clean that splatters up. So that just gives it that kind of lazy Sunday afternoon kind of feel, doesn't it? With those splatters there. And I could go in with some darker blacker splatters but I don't want to I don't want to dull the page down if you know what I mean I want to leave it kind of light and bright and airy if I add black splatters to it I think it's just gonna it is gonna dull it down and I don't really want to do that so I think I'm going to leave it there I think I'm happy even though I had no idea where I was going what direction it was going to take me in once I started playing once I started adding that colour down there and I started doing some mark making, it was almost like a lightning bolt out of the blue. I knew exactly which direction to take it in as soon as I started playing. So there you go. Inspiration can strike like lightning. Just make sure that you're sitting down. All right, so that is the mood board from Gina for this month, taking you into June. Some nice Juni kind of colours there, full summer colours. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sign this now, just over here. And what date is it today? It's Monday the 23rd. I'm doing this ahead of, ahead of schedule. What I will do is I will leave that to dry completely overnight before sticking this on the back page like I normally do, because I don't really want to chance it just yet. So there we go. So that is my Artsy Trio page for June based on Gina's mood board number nine. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me create that kind of free form art journal page. If you have, please run to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And don't forget, um, there's a URL to join the Artsy Trio Facebook group where you can also join in and share your creations based on the mood boards. There is a gallery on the Facebook group as well where you can go back and have a look at all the other uh, eight mood boards that we've done so far. And if any of those grab your fancy, have a go at those too. So at the moment, there's nine to go back and have a play with. So that's all for me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. I'm gonna nip off now and see what Gina and what B's done with that mood board. I hope you do too. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, 
these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.